Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going thrifting. I had a few errands to run, ended up right next to the thrift store, so I figured might as well turn into a video and find some treasure. Let's do it. All right, here's our first score of the store. These are Adidas Trefoil Hackmore High Tops. These are in pretty good condition. There weren't a ton of sold comps when I looked them up. If you wanna look up Adidas's, what you wanna do is find the ART number right there on the inside of the tag and look up that number. These ones didn't have a ton of solds, but what I did see were very, very good. So I'm gonna pick them up at 10 bucks. All right, here in the electronics, just came across this. It's a click-free backup storage for your computer. Over on eBay, they're going right around 50 to 60 bucks. Gonna be paying $2 for this one, and it is brand new, sealed in the box. Awesome score right there. All right, so we're leaving that store. Picked up a few things, one of which I picked up right at the end as I was walking out. Didn't get to show you on video, so I'll show it to you when we get to the car. Okay, like I said, we got three different items right there at that store. Did pretty good. I'm really happy with the quality of items. We got those shoes. We got that external hard drive, which I showed you, but we got one other thing too. This was behind the desk as I was checking out. It's a Dell Inspiron i5. The model is i5-5547. If you want to look it up, you can see I paid 30 bucks for it. It hasn't been tested. It doesn't have the cord with it. I should have another cord at home. I usually have a few extra power cords that fit various laptops at home. So I'm going to go home, test this out. If it works, it should be just over $300 used for this unit. And even if it doesn't work, then I'm going to sell it for parts and I'll make my 30 bucks back really, really easy. So either way, this is gonna be a score. Really happy to find this. I don't find laptops very often at thrift stores. But now I've gotta get home and do some shipping. I've got a bunch of orders going out today. In the meantime though, I'm gonna leave you guys with some thrift trips from earlier this week. I had a few good scores and I wanna share them with you. I just didn't have time to put them in their own video, so I'm gonna put them in here. Enjoy while I drive home. Check out this piece right here. It's a Jeff Gordon embroidered leather jacket. It's got the big old four time champion on the back with the flames. That thing's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure I've sold this exact piece before for over a hundred bucks. They got it priced up at 20, but I still think I'm gonna grab it. It's also the Super Bowl Colts jacket right next to it, also leather. That one's priced at 40, so we're passing on that one. But this guy, I think we're gonna snag. Just found a little bread and butter piece. This is a Vineyard Vines one fourth zip sweater. I get like 20, 25 bucks out of these, so nothing special there, but Vineyard Vines is a brand to look for when it comes to sweaters. Gonna be paying $5. Here's a pretty cool jersey just pulled. It's a vintage Rawlings Adult 44 Minnesota Twins jersey. See, it's got the nice patches on there. It's a little bit of staining, but that one's a vintage one, so I'm gonna pick it up. I don't know exactly what this one will go for, but I'm paying $5. Here we got an Adidas Cleveland Cavaliers LeBron James jersey. It's an adult large. I just looked this one up and it looks like it was going right around 40 bucks. There were two sold comps on that jersey. This one I couldn't find the exact one online, but it is a Mitchell and Ness vintage Cincinnati Reds Barry Larkin jersey. Don't know exactly what that one will go for, but other Larkin jerseys were also going right around the 40 to $50 mark. So two good pulls there. Gonna be paying $5 a piece. They must have just put these jerseys out because I found one more. It's a Reebok Columbus Blue Jackets jersey. This one is a player on it. It says Bob Rovoski on the back. I don't know if I said that right, but I just sold a Blue Jackets jersey blank for 40 bucks. So this one might be worth a little more being that it's a specific player. All right, we're back home now for the moment and it's time to get our shipping done. We've got 14 different orders going out today, so let's go ahead and pull everything. We've got three different harnesses going out today. We got a purple large slash extra large, a orange extra extra small, 
and a gray extra extra small each of those sold for $32 we got two of these powder hound insulated dog vest one brand new with tags green one extra small and one small new without tags in orange and as we can see here the orange one sold for $65 that one was new without tags and the green one sold for $75 new with tags okay then over in this bin right here we've got a palisades dog pack right here on top this sold for $110 as you can see right there. Also in that same bin, we got these guys, Grip Trex dog boots. These sold for $20 and 99 cents. And our final piece of rough wear is a chain reaction collar in purple. Sold for $16.99 right here. Okay, now onto the non-roughware stuff. We sold two of these guys. This one right here on top, Robotics for $18. And the Meteorology one right here for $25. Okay, now down in bin Z, we got a North Face men's flannel that is going out. And it's right here, sold $25. Then up here up top, we got our final Blue Parrot headset. Got these at that Digging for Deals place. And this one sold for $70. Okay, this plush has been sitting up here in the background for a while, finally ended up selling. It's Cassie from Dragon Tales, brand new in the box, finally sold for $60. I'm telling you guys, don't sleep on plush and stuffed animal stuff. There's some good money if you know what you're looking for. All right, I get asked all the time how I end up shipping a lot of stuff out. The majority of stuff, soft good stuff, goes out in these poly bags. I have them linked down in the description of the videos, but pretty much everything soft good, so the clothing, the rough wear stuff, will all be in these poly bags. And for these two right here, these are both textbooks, so these will get to ship via media mail. And to do that, it's real easy. I'm just gonna take them and put them into bubble mailers just like that. If you have the opportunity to use media mail, use it because it's cheaper than both priority and first class shipping. You can do them for textbooks, books, anything that's like printed media. You can ship via media mail as long as it does not have advertisements in it. And for the Blue Parrot headset right here, that's all we're gonna do is take it and put it in an eight by six by four shipping box. I get these in bulk from the eBay shipping store and you get a free coupon if you have a eBay store subscription. And this is what I use my coupons on is boxes like this. Now, finally, we have the Cassie plush from Dragon Tales. Normally I would ship plush in a poly bag, but since she is new in the box, we're going to put her in her own little box just like that, tape it up and it'll be good. And just another little tip for you guys, I ship pretty much everything through PirateShip.com. I just linked my eBay store to it. It imports all of my sold listings over and anything pretty much USPS that I'm shipping out is going through PirateShip as opposed to the eBay interface, just because it's typically a little bit cheaper if you go through a third party site like this. Now on larger items and stuff, I still use eBay and ship through FedEx and UPS that way because they do get a discount through the eBay website. All right, now that everything is all packed up, as you can see right here behind me, we are going to go ahead, head up to the post office. I'm gonna climb for a little bit, then hit a few more thrift stores. Cue montage. Down here in the men's section, just found a Gaia Sun 
two ply cashmere sweater I'm telling you guys don't sleep on cashmere it sells very very well this time of year I'm gonna be paying five dollars should get 25 to 30 out of it here we go just a few sweaters down we got another 100 percent cashmere sweater this one is by daniel bishop again same prices same profits Here's an interesting little piece. It's made out of like that basketball short material, which is really interesting for a jacket, but it's a full zip, JaVinci. Don't know if it's legit. Gonna have to do some research on it. it says JaVinci on the back as well. Interesting little piece for seven bucks. Man, this little section here at the store is hitting. We got a foot joy, dry joy for $5. There are no logos or anything on it. it does have the big FJ on the back. That's probably 35, 40 bucks. All right, I'm down in the men's dress shirts now. Found a nice little Robert Graham. You can see it knows it's worth money. It's got the money bags on it. It's even got it embroidered down here on the bottom. That thing paying $5 should get at least 30 out of it. Just came across something interesting here. We got a Cincinnati Bengals football. See, it says Cincinnati Bengals on it, but it's also signed. I don't know who that is. Number 10. If you know, let me know. It's six bucks. Take a chance, maybe? I was looking through all these plush and I found one that I might be interested in. It's a Disney store, Alice in Wonderland soft plush doll. It's official Disney store, $3. Looked it up, it should go right around 25 bucks. Might be a little bit of a longer tail one, but I still think it's worth it. Okay, so we're leaving that St. Vincent de Paul. We got some good stuff, but something interesting happened. I was talking to one of the workers in the store and she noticed I was buying a lot of different kinds of stuff. And she asked me, hey, are you a reseller? I said, yeah, I am, why? She said, have you been next door yet? I was like, next door, what do you mean? She's like, yeah, a few months ago, we opened up an addition to our store here and it's in the building next door to us. Have you been there yet? I was like, no, I haven't. What is it? She's like, oh, it's like a bunch of stuff thrown in a bunch of bins and you dig through it and pull out stuff that way. There's nothing hung on racks and stuff. So I'm thinking it's kind of like the Goodwill bins, but for St. Vincent de Paul. I don't have a ton of time left in the day, but since it's right next door, I'm going to run in and check it out, see what this place is all about. If it is like the bins and stuff, we might have to do a whole separate video here another day. I'm not a huge fan of the bins, but it's something different and I had no idea this was opening. So let's go next door and check this place out. Yep, look at that right next door, just like she said. This is from the opposite direction that I come to the store, so it makes sense why I've never seen it, but let's check it out. Here's the prices. Right, I've been here for maybe three minutes and found these two right here. A North Face 550 down jacket. Unfortunately, it's all stained up. It's got stains all over it, so that's probably not worth it. And over here, this one's in really good shape though. North Face men's rain jacket. I'm gonna grab that one. Check it out, brand new with tag affliction shirt. I sell these used for like 20 bucks a piece. So new with tag should be pretty good. MSRP on it, 68 bucks. Not a bad score. All right, I only spent a few minutes in there, picked up those two items, spent a dollar and 53 cents. I'm definitely gonna have to come back and check that place out in the future. As you guys have probably noticed my channel, I don't go to bin stores like this very often at all, just because usually they're really crowded, tons of people, people are being aggressive, yelling, like throwing elbows. Not my cup of tea, it's just not the kind of thrifting that I like to do. I would much rather just take my time, be in my own little space, and mind my own business while I'm going through stuff. So typically, these are the kind of places that I try to steer clear from. However, this one didn't seem that bad. There weren't a ton of people in there. Everybody seemed kind of chill, and there was a lot of inventory to go through. Now, I don't know at the St. Vincent de Paul one if it's gonna be like my local Goodwill one, where it's just all store returns and store pulls, so all of it's kind of been through once or twice and it's just like the second and third hand stuff that doesn't have a ton of value but from what i've seen just being in there 10 minutes i got these two really good items and paid a dollar fifty so we might have to come back check this out a different day and maybe make a dedicated video otherwise that's going to wrap things up for this video i hope that you guys all enjoyed if you would like to see me come back to this store and do a dedicated video on it make sure to smash that like button subscribe to my channel for more and leave me a comment letting me know you'd like to see that. Otherwise, thank you guys all for watching. Till next time, keep on treasure hunting. Peace.